Alrighty, good morning folks and welcome back to day three of our Alaskan vlog, I guess we're calling it, and day two here on the beautiful Norwegian bliss as Sam and I get ready to head out for the day. Gonna leave the beautiful Haven suite here in just a few minutes and uh, as you can see on the screen, here's our itinerary. We're gonna be at sea for the entire day before arriving at Juneau tomorrow and uh, I'll take you outside, give you a little peek on what's going on. As you can see, not much. Just the uh, giant Pacific Ocean. Russia's probably you know a few thousand miles over that way. <laughs> but as you can see, our sunny day that we had in Seattle is no longer. Uh, it's a little bit dreary, a little cloudy. Rain every once in a while, but uh, not bad weather still. Hoodie weather, tolerable. So uh, yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're, gonna, what we're up to today. So. Uh, for at sea day, it's usually a relaxing, peaceful day, but uh, we booked quite a few things today on the boat. So uh, first we're gonna be doing a little bit of go-kart riding later in the day, and then uh, we also booked the uh, laser tag. So uh, two things that we're both looking forward to. And uh, we did get our room service this morning, got some coffee and bacon. So yeah, what else could you really ask for on a cruise? You got coffee, bacon, and go-kart riding. <laughs> so uh, we did a little bit of exploring last night. We checked out the casino, as well as a handful of bars on the ship. So uh, pretty eventful night. We're out uh, pretty late. So uh, it might be a earlier day in for us today. But a uh, little fun fact that a lot of people probably don't realize, maybe if uh, you never cruised before or are potentially looking to do a cruise, uh, if you wake up you know, at 12 o'clock or maybe you're at the bar later at night, and you're noticing you're stumbling a little bit, uh, like I was last night. It wasn't uh, from the beer or alcohol. The boat actually speeds up uh, throughout the night. So you do go faster. A lot of people don't realize that. So if you're looking to do a cruise, keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, enough about me. Sam's also got some plans for the, for the night. And uh, I think she's got a few shows that she has planned. So let's talk to Sam a little bit here. Yeah, um, so 6 the musical, we're going to see that at 7, um, and then at 10 we get to go see the comedy show. Um, so it should be a pretty busy night once we finish up dinner, we'll be like non-stop. Uh, and then Bill also has the go-karting schedule for us before then, so it's, it's going to be a busy but relaxing day, hopefully. Come along with us, this is uh, day number 2 on the Bliss, and we'll be showing you all around the boat. Alrighty guys, we'll see you later. Alrighty, so after filming the intro, we are ready to roll. Sam and I devised some plans for the day. She wanted to explore some sections of the boat, do a little reading in the observation area, and just chill out before arriving at Juno the next day. Me, on the other hand, decided to bread the elements and head outside to the Haven hot tubs. Just to show you how quickly weather in Alaska can change in a matter of minutes, here's the Pacific when I got into the hot tub, and here it is when I got out. Easily a 20 degree temperature change. And look who showed up to join me.
If you missed our first few episodes of the vlog, the Haven is a private suite on the boat which has a wide variety of exclusive amenities such as a private restaurant, bar, pool, and yes, even hot tubs. So yeah, Sam got a few hours of reading in in one of her favorite spots on the boat, the observation lounge, and I got a little quiet time in the Haven hot tubs for a few hours. And after a few hours, we reconvened at the beautiful indoor Haven swimming pool, equipped with its own waterfall, hot tub, and a gorgeous glass ceiling. If swimming isn't for you, then take a seat along the pool and lounge out for a little bit. Hey, look, I think there's a whale out there. <laughs> yeah, I just saw a blowhole. That's pretty cool. There's a whale right out there. But yeah, anyway, we're going to wrap this video up and uh, head to the uh, go karts. You see the whale out there? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. Alrighty, well, we are back in the room. Just a quick little update. This is the second time we filmed this since uh, the first time we were filming it, some whales showed up on the side of the boat. First whales that we've seen on this trip thus far. But uh, we did just want to give you a quick little update at our at sea day. So uh, pretty much everything you can ask for, everything from uh, espresso to hot tub jumping. Sam got her nap in. I had a uh, concoction of different uh, drinks along the way, but uh, yeah. One of the random things I was really looking forward to on this trip was to uh, go in the go-karts. We're supposed to be there at four. It's 3.40 right now. So we're uh, gonna head out. I got the chest mount. I think I've only used this thing one other time before. So we're gonna give that a shot, take you along with us. And then uh, we have a pretty eventful rest of the night, even though this was supposed to be uh, relatively relaxing uh, at sea day. So uh, what else we got going on here? So after go-karts, we um, head over to dinner, and then after dinner, we head downstairs to the show. Well, I'm going to the show with everyone else. Uh, Bill's heading off on his own adventures, and then we're going to meet back up, and we have a comedy show at 10. And, oh, and I forgot laser, laser tag. tag. Yeah, so we got laser tag in between. But yeah, awesome day so far. Got to do a little bit of relaxing and a little bit of uh, some fun activities here on the Bliss, and uh, even saw some whales. So, all right, we're gonna throw the shoes on and take you to the go-kart track. Let's go check it out together. So here we are, the first event of the inaugural Maxim Outdoors Cup. Event number one, go-kart racing. So after years of driving her Jeep around like a maniac and hitting a curb or two, I won't lie, I was a little bit nervous about losing this one. But first, they made us wear these ridiculous head coverings. And after waiting in line for a few moments, we got our helmets and seatbelts on and awaited the green light to show. Sam kept shooting me dirty looks. But miraculously, I pulled out in front for the first few laps as Sam trailed behind. And then, I got cocky. Not even a wall could stop me. Destiny was definitely on my side. So after hitting the wall and getting checked that I was still alive, I led for a few more laps and yes, my chest mount did not do the greatest job recording. Yet. And then it all fell apart. 
during the last lap, everything came unglued. I don't know if it was the cockiness or the $10 Sam slipped the man controlling the carts, but in a matter of a second, I was in second. Sam won the first event. Alrighty, well, another look out at the good old Pacific Ocean here as we head north to Alaska. We are literally just on the boundary of British Columbia and uh, the Alaskan border right now. So uh, we'll be pulling into Juneau tomorrow around 1.30. We're not really sure what we're gonna do. Um, as you can see, Sam isn't here. She's currently at uh, her show, but uh, we're kind of up in the air. We really wanna go to the Mendenhall Glacier, but it turns out that uh, it's a little hard to book right now. So we're thinking about either uh, taking a taxi or maybe just skipping it all together and doing the uh, tram that heads up to the top of a mountain in, uh, in the capital. So uh, that's the plans for that. And I figured I would just make a little segue into our uh, laser tag uh, part of the video. So uh, if you didn't already notice, Sam won the inaugural uh, Maxim Outdoors Cup. She kicked my butt in uh, go-karts earlier, just barely beat me there in the last round, or the last lap. I'm not gonna say they gave her an advantage, but uh, her cart did seem to somehow speed up on me at the very end there. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wait for her. She should be back in about 10 minutes and we're gonna take you on up to the laser tag area. Not really sure how well it's gonna come out because it's gonna be dark here, as you can see. The sun's starting to set, so uh, these GoPros are notoriously bad for low light situations but take you along anyway and show you a little bit of the laser tag it's been a really fun day at sea and uh yeah tomorrow we will be officially in alaska another state down for maximum outdoors i kind of lost track at how many states we're at right now i think maybe seven or eight i would have to guess off the top of my head but uh yeah enough rambling you heard enough and uh we're gonna take you up and show you some laser tag but here's one last look at the pacific ocean before the sun sets here all right as the sun set the tensions rose would sam win the inaugural maxim outdoors cup So we left the room and climbed up to the highest point on the ship where the laser tag was located and we were greeted with a beautiful sunset backdrop. The wind was pretty intense and the temps were dropping as we steamed north to Alaska. So originally the plan was to be on opposite teams to make uh, event number two a little bit more uh, dramatic I guess you could say, but Sam and I decided to be on the same team. Whoever would have the most points at the end of the round would win the second event of the Maxim Cup. And if Sam wins, she'd be the official champion. So yeah, the heat was on. After waiting in line for a few minutes, we were trained and ready to go. Armed and dangerous out in the Pacific. And then it was go time. And just like that, the match was set. Nine folks on the red side and nine folks on the blue side. Whichever team had the most kills would win the game. And yes, my chest mount failed me once again.
shield. Use the shield. I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right. Game over. Please return to your base and check the score. Hey, Sam. How many did you get? And the winner is Blue Team. Congratulations, yeah, Blue Team. So after running around and giggling for 15 minutes, the match was over. The announcer declared our team, the blue side, the winners. So here's the official score count for our match. And if you look closely, I was device number one, aka number one on the team and the entire match, not to brag. And Sam was right behind me as she was device number 30. So that means the Maxim Cup is all tied up now, one to one. And I will say this, laser tag was way more involved than I thought it would be originally. Touch screen guns, multiple buttons, and when you got shot, you had to run all the way back to your base to be revived. It was actually a lot more fun, but we both highly recommend it if you're ever on the bliss. So after an eventful and what we thought would have been relaxing day at sea, filled with hot tubs, go-karts, and laser tag, we headed down to see our favorite bartenders before ending the night at a comedy show, which was excellent. Alrighty folks, well, day two here on the Norwegian Bliss has officially come to an end. It was a pretty eventful uh, day at sea, pretty long day honestly. Uh, we were busy from start to finish from, what? Yeah, I feel like we were up at 4 a.m. The time difference has uh, caught up with us. We're gonna be four hours, uh, what is it, ahead now? Once we uh, reach this little blue line here. So this is British Columbia and just up north a few, probably 100 miles or so, we'll be in Alaskan water whenever we wake up in a short few hours. So uh, tomorrow, of course, we're heading to Juneau. We don't really have anything set in stone. We're gonna try and do the um, uh, go gondola ride up the, uh, the mountain and try to see the Mendenhall Glacier. That's the goal. So uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty awesome day and really looking forward to seeing Juno once again tomorrow. So how did you enjoy your day? Today was really nice. We did a lot of exploring, a whole bunch of uh, different activities. Uh, Bill and I are tied one to one. One to one. <laughs> on our, um, on our, what would you even call this? Uh, I mean, go-karts? They're, yeah, they're on board activities, but we did go-karting and then we also did the laser tag. And yeah. Bill technically won. Sam barely beat me in go-karts. So, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, laser tag. I destroyed it. I was the best person out of uh, everybody. Uh, oh, 15, 15 different people. Number one. Yeah. So, uh, a little cocky there, huh? Yeah, a little bit, but you gotta be. So uh, we're gonna have to settle the score here. And we have an idea, hopefully it works out. If not, we'll have to figure something else out. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. Day number two on the Norwegian Bliss. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these uh, little videos of our Alaskan journey, because it's been fun making them. So yeah. I think that's gonna wrap it up. If uh, you're new to this channel, maybe you found us looking up uh, cruise videos, uh, hit that subscribe button, uh, give us a like. Always leave us some comments, let us know your thoughts. Yeah, and then check us out on uh, Facebook and Instagram. All right. Signing out, see you tomorrow. Thank you.